Ladies and gentlemen, I am here tonight to um, answer your questions. This um, this show was um, this show's been talked about all week, and today is the day I am here to um, answer your questions. Obviously, we did not get the the the, um, the, the, the the action I wanted, you know, a lot of you guys didn't speak, um, you, you know, I want to thank guys that spoke though, you know, guys that were active in the comment section, um, for those of you who were not active, I don't understand what happened, um, I don't know if you guys hold it under pressure, um, it's okay, you know, if you did, maybe next time, but I do want to thank, um, those people that performed in the comment section this week, um, I'm trying to, you know, connect with you guys, I'm trying to do different series, before you know it, it will be, you know, I went, I went to, you know, the days like this where we don't have anything, any, any, anything going on with the preview or NFL or anything to at least, you know, have it be Friday's me answering your questions. But obviously, if you guys do not um, ask questions, like how am I supposed to answer questions, you know? So um, if you if, if, if you want me to continue this series of me answering your questions, obviously you guys need to answer questions. I'm calling everybody out right now, other than Marty and Bill Patterson. Marty and Bill Patterson, you guys are, you guys are not in this, but everybody else folded, I thought. We have 100 followers and about 97, 95 um, of them completely folded, like co completely folded like Tony Romo in the playoffs. Did not perform for me tonight. Did not perform for me all week on the C show in this Serious. Now, this could be one in the, this could be the first time and the last time we do this serious because of you guys not performing. Um, but hey, we have, we're going to do what we got to work with and um, we'll see how it goes. And I mean, obviously, next week, if it's like this or even slower, we may not have this next week again. But, anyways, first question is um, who is a better, um, who is a better fighter? Um, Josh, um, um, Joshua or Wilder? Well, they're both never lost a fight. Um, um, Josh, jo Joshua is twenty and z in tw in twenty and z twenty and zero, and Wilder is thirty nine and zero. Um, um, obviously, I would have I would have to say Wilder obviously has the experience, has fought a lot more fights, about nine, and um, and obviously he's a little bit older. So I will say, um, just from experience, I would go with Wilder. Although Joshua, you know, I would, if they ever fight, it would be nice if they ever fight. If, if Joshua and Wilder ever fight, I would have probably have to say Wilder right now because of the experience. But obviously, if they ever do fight for real life, I would have to first study it before I come on the C show and say who, who I think is going to win. But right now, just for fun, if they ever fight, I will say Wilder because of the experience. But although Joshua ain't no joke, every fight he's knocked everybody out, everybody he's ever faced. 20 fights, 20 knockouts, so the guy ain't no joke, but neither is Walter. Anyways, um, but by the way, Parker and, and Joshua, I believe, are going to fight. I believe that was announced I saw, so we'll see about that one later. Um, but yes, I got Walter for now. We'll see later on. Um, next question was, um, um, do you think um, Jameis Winston has... Um, has fallen off. Um, yes, I have. Um, I pick. Um, I, I am not liking what Jameis Winston has done this year. If you pick, um, you know, seven quarterbacks or five quarterbacks, twenty-five or younger, you got to go with, um, you know, Winston, Winston Watson, um, Wentz. You know, um, Trubisky, Mariota. Um, Prescott, Prescott, goof. Um, probably Winton is the worst one right now, if you ask me. Out of all those seven, you know, 25 or younger, you know, that are supposed to be the next big thing, you know, goof. Um, um, Wentz, Watson, Trubisky, Prescott, Mariota, and Winton. Probably Winton is the worst one right now. He probably is. He has really fallen off. Um, I have I have no idea what has happened to this man. I think it's maybe his work, his work, mental work. I don't know if he's getting that film room enough and working out and studying film. I have no idea. Um, if you go back a few months, if you go back, if you go back, a, if you go back a few months ago, I had them going in the playoffs. I actually had Atlanta winning the South 
and then I have um, Tampa Bay going into the wall card. I really thought it was going to be the year for them, especially with the weapons they got um, at Howard to be the best tight end in the draft from Alabama going to them and then getting Deshaun Jackson in free agency along with Mike Evans. I thought really, you know, it was suddenly time for um, for James Winston to really start um, making some things happen. But that has not been the case at all. Obviously, they have maybe even taken a step back. And we don't know what's going to happen. But like I said, out of those, like I said, seven quarterbacks I just named, 25 or younger, I think he's maybe the worst one right now. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, um, and, yeah, next question is actually um, part of this. Um, can I do a um, a, a, a show about what I'm at this log Tampa Bay? I just told you a little bit, but yes, man. That, will, that video will be next um, Tuesday. So that, look up for that one. Um, you've been, all, all week long, you've been saying in the comment section, hey, CE, can you do a video about the Tampa Bay? I want to know what you think about Tampa Bay. I'm like, sure, man. Um, obviously, I have not um, tell you. I like to, I, I'm, I'm too lazy to write. You know, I'd rather talk here on the CE show to you guys. But yes, man, if you're watching this video, yes, I will be making that video for you too. Say what are my thoughts on Tampa Bay, their season and everything. Um, if you're watching this video, let me know. Hey, C, I got your message. I'll be waiting on Tuesday for the video. If you didn't get my message, I'll be patient. But then if you didn't get my message, I'll tell you, hey, son, we're doing this video on Tuesday. Look look for it. Be on the watch for it. So let me know. I forgot what your name is. I apologize. You're new to the C show. And at least you're new to the comment section. So I appreciate you being in the comment section. But um, I don't know if you're new to the show. But at least I, I, I think this is the first time uh, this week I saw you in the comment section. Hopefully continue to be a part of the C show, be a part of the comment section, and be a part of the um, um, Friday questions and answers. Um, but yes, man, that video will be up for, on Tuesday for you. What do I think about Tampa Bay season so far? Um, I just talked a little bit about James Winston, but I will talk about the entire team this Tuesday. So stay tuned for that one, my friend. Um, and let me know, you know, or, or otherwise I'll wait one or two days and then I'll tell you in the comment section, hey, son, we're doing the video on Tuesday. But anyways, if not, you can let me know maybe t today or tomorrow or whenever how you watch this video. I watched you and yes, we're doing this video. Anyways, enough of that. Um, next question. Um, um, who, who, or who, who or what inspired you to do the show to start your to your show? Um, I'm gonna say, you know. I've always wanted, obviously, to be a professional sports announcer um, because I know a lot about sports, you know. I think I, and when, when I was in high school, you know, I probably knew about more. I probably just led the lead in sports, you know. I knew about sports, you know, more than probably anybody in that school, you know. Everybody would go to me. Literally, people want to be my friend because of sports. Like, literally, like, all, everybody that knows me talks to me about sports, so, like, it, it, everybody that ever wanted to be my friend in high school was because of sports. Well, there were some people that, you know, whatever, you know, they didn't like sports and they were friends for us and other things. But a lot of people wanted to be my friends because they wanted to know about sports, you know. And so, and I always wanted to be a sportsman, you know, a sports announcer, a professional sports announcer. But, um, you know, obviously, you know, I was, I was, I, 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 I'm assuming if you know about it, if you studied about, you know, a career for it, a sports announcer, it takes a lot of time. You have to go to school a lot. Um, you have to write a lot of, you start off as a journalist, you know. You have to write on newspapers. You work yourself up. Um, as you can see here on the CD show, if you have tell in the few in the past, I am not too much of a writer. At times, I take a long time to put my title on the, on the, on the show because I, I, I don't know how to spell a word. And I'm looking how, how do I spell, you know, this and this. And uh, the video already, um, has already been gone live. And you guys are watching the damn video without no title. And I don't, you know, because I'm trying to figure out how the hell to use all this word to make the, to make the title look professional. So that's always been a problem of mine. So, you know, that really has hurt me from assuming or pursuing a career um, as a professional announcer because of my lack of not knowing how to spell words. I'm not a very, I'm, I, I've never been a game, I never, I never been a part of school. I never will. Um, I, I, I went to college, you know, and did my thing, but for the most part, I felt out of my face, you know. You know, I was able to do this, you know, you know, go to little school and do whatever I could, but obviously I was supposed to do more, you know, you know, I, I you know, go to like a, you know, like a, 
what is it? What do you call it? A full-time college? What do you call it? Um, and, and, you know, pursue a journalist career. And that's where I fell flat on my face. I cannot pursue one because my 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 my, uh, my writing level was very low. I I I did what I could at the uh, at, 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 at the small school, but then once they told me, "Hey, son, you're done here. Congratulations, you graduated." Got my little diploma. I felt like a nerd. Whatever. But once they told me, "Hey, son, go now. You have now you passed what you needed to pass here. Now you need to go to a full time school." I I'm like mother chicken on a wall full of strings. Say what? I shit at my pants. My pants were white that day. They were black. After they told me that, um, I completely said, you know what? It's a lot more money. You know, you only pay like what? It was like $700 I paid them um, to go to that school for a whole year. And it's a lot more money to go to a full-time school. So I'm like, you know what? Thank you for the paper. I'll put it on my fucking wall. And I remembered, hey, at least I went to this, sh at least I went to this little school. But I, I, I could not continue to pursue a, a journalist career because my... My writing level was very, very low. Um, and it's always been like that. I'm not too much of a, I'm not too, I'm not a writer at all. Um, I never have, I never will. I'm not a school person at all. I never have, I never will, you know. My passion is really wrestling sports, fighting sports, you know. Anything that's a fight, anything that's a sport, you know. That's me. That, those are my passions, you know. Any, you know, fights and sports. Um, that's what I'm always looking for. Um, anything else I'm not interested in. Um, so, um, this was my way of, of, hey, let me at least show people I can talk about sports. So I was limited in school because I cannot write. So, let me at least show you, hey, I actually do know about sports. I'm just limited because, like, for me, writing, it's hard to express myself. So that's why it's harder to start doing this show. Let me do this show and let me express myself and let me show you I know about sports. And, hey, we'll see what happens. You know, we'll see what this show takes us. You know, we have 100 followers in the last two years. Keep growing. We'll see what happens. Um, at you know, this to me, this show has been, at times, I'm like, eh. other times, it's, and other times, once again, you know, it's a roller coaster ride. I wish we could just continue staying up, but it, it seems like it's a roller coaster, right? It's all right, whatever. I know this is a hard, you know, um, way to get noticed, but um, and I understand, you know, obviously the the the, the, the professional companies are going to want to go for the for the people who actually went to school, the whole system, you know, um, junior college. I mean, um, ju journalists, you know, um, you know, small school, full school, you know, what were maybe uh, uh, newspaper writers, then work their stuff up. They're not going to say, hey, let's put this fat ass on, on TV just because he's, he has a YouTube channel. He knows about sports. Yes, people tell me, hey, but you have a person like no, nobody. But yeah, but I'll be honest with you, I, I have no paperwork, you know. And that's, you know, that little diploma I got, which is a laughable com compared to what other people are going to get in the future. So we'll see what happens where this takes us. But I mean, we'll see what happens. Um, but I will continue to be here um, and try to whatever, you know, maybe just for fun. Maybe I'll get noticed one day. I don't know. We'll see where it takes us. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, what else can we say here on the C show? Um, next was asked. Um, I think there was, was was there one more here? I, I there was five. I've answered. Yes. Um, next one and last one was. Um, where do I think Colin Kaepernick will end up? Where where do I think he will go? Um, well, obviously there's some teams out there, probably either Denver or Houston. Um, Denver probably makes the most sense because he, he could stay there in the future. Um, he can go there right now and, you know, show them he can play and then stay there in the future. Where if he goes somewhere else like Houston or some other team, you know he's not the future there. We all know Watson's the future there. So... If he really wants to have a future um, and go and go somewhere, and you know, probably Denver. That probably makes the most sense for Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> <coughs> that would probably make the most. That would probably make the most sense for Colin Kaepernick to go to Denver um, because it, you know, if he performs, he's staying there. Simple as that. Nobody's gonna take his job. When you go to Houston, it's only for one year because next year Watkins coming back. You know, so. 
Um, Denver probably makes the most sense for Colin Kaepernick. I really hope he does get signed soon. I really do. Um, for those of you who think it's the military, he's disrespecting the military. He's not disrespecting the military. He's all, he's both, he's doing some other stuff. He's not taking a knee because of the military. Don't be surprised this week if you see a lot. Of, you already saw it last night. A lot of guys from Seattle that usually take a knee took a, took um, stood up this week because it's veterans. Um, it's veterans week. There's going to be a lot of soldiers at the stadiums, and a lot of a lot of players are going to stand up this week because the the soldiers are going to be there and they're going to show, hey, this is not us disrespecting shoulders so soldiers. This is us protesting some other stuff that I'm not going to get into. This is a this is a sports show. But um, yes, um, for those of you in say or anybody who says. Colin Kaepernick they took an easy just to be the military, the flag. He should not be in the NFL. No, 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 no. He 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 he's some other stuff, but not the military, not the flag. And be on the lookout for this week because of the whole soldiers being at the field because of Veterans Day. That you will see a lot of players who took a knee. They will stand up this week to salute our soldiers. We already saw that this past last night with um Seattle. A lot of guys who took knees in the past stood up last night for the military. Um, but I really hope Colin Kaepernick gets a chance because, um, you, you know how this league works, guys. If you don't play for more than one year, two years, you're out of this league. Colin Kaepernick last game was in Christmas Day, I believe, of last year. The 30, was it what, the 1st of January, I believe. So, the, so January 1st of 2017, I believe, was Colin Kaepernick's last game. If he doesn't play this year, the, the faster he would be able to play next year, September of 2018. That's a long ways. That's a long ways. So hopefully he gets signed soon. We'll see what happens there. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But we'll see what happens. Uh, I, I think he should get a chance. But we'll see what happens. Um, I think that's all we have for tonight. Five questions, I believe that was. I think that's what we had to perform tonight on the C show. I want to thank everyone for, for watching the C show tonight. Um, and if you... Uh, um, um, if you um volunteer, thank you. If you didn't, hey man, volunteer next week. You want to continue this series? Volunteer next week, and um, we continue this series. If I see this low pay that I saw this week, we're gonna have to stop doing this. So the first week, guys, and we I didn't see a lot of action. So um, hopefully you guys show up next week, and we see more action next week on the C show for these questions. If not, we're gonna have to do something else. We have to go a different um different way. Um, but I hope because it makes it easier. I at least have a topic idea for Fridays, but obviously if you guys don't, you know, um, show activity in the comment section, then how the hell am I supposed to, um, answer your question? Man, I want to thank everybody for, for tonight. Everybody that did ask questions. Thank you. We have a hundred, um, subscribers or subscribe a hundred followers and only five or even less showed up for this. Um, so... We'll see what happens next week. Um, until next time, I am C, and I will see you later. And hopefully, you guys show more passion for this series next week. Thank you, everybody. Um, I want to thank everybody who performed tonight. If you didn't perform, <coughs> whatever. But until next time, I am C, I am the C, and I will see you later. I want to thank everybody once again and see you. Um, start putting your questions for next week, you know. Then start right now. What are your questions then? You have a week. I'm going to keep saying it, and then we'll see where it takes us next week. If I see that, I go, we only have like two or less. Sorry. But anyways, um, that is all I have to say for tonight. I want to thank everyone for watching. Thank you. The hell is happening? Oh, shoot. All right, I'll take it, I'll take it.